taking audio and image notes on Google Keep's mobile app. So before I go uh, any further in this presentation, I just want to point out that your screen may not look exactly like the screenshots that I have in this video, depending on the device that you are um, using. These were actually taken from an iOS device, but everything that you see here will be available on the Android and Google Play apps as well. Just might have to poke around to see where they may be. So when we take a look at our Google Apps, um, our Google Keep app here, mobile version, you'll see um, there is actually a different icon that you don't see when you're working with the desktop version, and that's going to be this microphone. So this is going to allow us to take an audio note. And all you have to do is click on that microphone and start talking, and Google will transcribe for you in the note itself what it is that you're saying. And then what I happen to also really like about this feature is it then puts the audio clip there too, so you're able to play back what you said in case what was actually written out isn't exactly perfect. If something comes up, it's like, ah, it doesn't look quite right. You can still go ahead and play back what it is that you were going to be doing. This is a great feature for students to struggle with typing. They can go ahead and speak and kind of get their thoughts out and then be able to put those into whatever document it is that they're working on at a later time. Now, we also really like using the mobile app to take image notes. You do have the capability of using uh, and taking an image note within the desktop version, but all of your images have to be saved ahead of time. So this means you'd have to have them saved somewhere on your H drive, uh, your hard drive, someplace that you have them easily accessible. Whereas if you're using them on the mobile device, you will see you have the option to take a photo with your device's camera or choose an image that's already been um, you, taken, whether it's stored on the camera's uh, photo roll or elsewhere. So um, that's one reason we like being able to use our mobile app to take images, because it's a lot faster and an easier way. You don't have to have it saved already. So once you take your photo, I just want you know keep in mind here that if you take it sideways, you do not have the ability to rotate the photo once it's in the Google app. So you're either going to have to delete it and start over, or go ahead and make do with that. Now the first uh, thing that we're going to talk about here is the ability that you have to annotate over your images. Now this is something that's available on the desktop version as well, but we're going to stick here with the mobile. And once I click on that pen icon, you will see I have another toolbar that popped up at the bottom of my screen. It's going to give me access to a variety of annotation tools. So I have a crop uh, option. I can go ahead and um, do some erasing. I have different types of pens. This red line here was done with the center one. This is the default setting. And you'll notice I could change that color and width of that particular pen. Another handy tool is the highlighter option. That's the last icon in that row. This is very helpful for students if they take a picture of a text from um, whether it's a textbook or even from a website, they can go ahead and highlight over what the, what the key points are that they wanted in that particular note. Now, when it comes to taking images, one thing really comes up with is text. And this is one of those things, one of those features that we really happen to love about Google Keep. And that is the ability to grab image text. So I'm going to go up to the three dots here in my uh, right hand corner of my mobile app. And again, if you're on an Android device, those three dots might be elsewhere. In iOS, it's in the upper right hand corner. And from that menu, I have the ability to grab image text as well as to send or delete if I needed to. Now with this grab image text, I just want to point out that it's not always available immediately. Sometimes you have to close the note and then go back in. Uh, it just takes a while for Google Keep to recognize that it is indeed a photograph of text. Now if I select then grab image text, Google Keep, through the magic of Google, will actually take that and put it down at the bottom of my note. This now makes that same text editable. I can go and I can change it. I can um, add words, I can delete words, whatever I need to do. But if that wasn't enough to make your mind blown, you can, anything that was a link within that text is now a live clickable link. So if I were not using a screenshot here, I'd be able to click on this particular website and I would go right to this. This is a fantastic feature for um, if you're at a conference, you can take a picture if um, the presenter puts up their website up at the top, or if you're presenting to students and want them to have an easy access to a website, you, they can simply take a picture of it and then grab image text with their Google Keep app. All the notes, of course, taken in the mobile app will sync with your Keep on the desktop. So it's great for on the go. Uh, you don't have to worry about losing anything. And of course, once you have that on the desktop version, you can go through and edit and make changes as necessary.